What is up, guys? I got something great for you today, the micro fans. I just got in the Insta360 Go, this little white camera you see sitting on top of my little two-inch drone right here. And it is small, and it is practical, and it is coming. We are now capable of carrying a HD camera on micros that could put out some really good footage. I'm sure you guys seen some of Nurk's videos. That's where I got the idea from. And um, with this frame, it just works out beautiful. As you see, I have it soft mounted. I use two neoprene landing pads and I just cut out notches in the middle of them. And I just stick the camera right in the groove. There's two of them and I have a strap running in between. And uh, on this frame, it works really well because the top plate has the uh, vertical and horizontal cu cutouts on it. So I just took the strap and I ran it across the uh, iFlight sign in a vertical fashion, as you see here. So it works out really well. It secures it very, very tightly and uh, it's also soft mounted. Okay, so we have an, a weight without the battery with the uh, Insta360. Is it 128 grams? That's props and all. And with a 553S tattoo all line battery, which are great batteries, and these are the only batteries I use, uh, we come in at just about 175 grams, I'm pretty sure, when I weighed it last. Yep, 175 grams. So you're still way under the, the 250 uh, limit, and this drone with the 1206 um, Zings has plenty of thrust to compensate for the extra 20, 25 grams with the uh, pads. The camera comes in at just over 20 grams, mine. It was 20.3 grams, my camera. And adding in the landing pads, that added an extra uh, two or three grams, I believe. And the extra strap was another couple of grams. So, like I said, we're at about 175, as you see here, all up weight. So I'm going to give you guys some flight footage. You get an idea with some stick cam. <laughs> Okay, this is our first attempt, first major flight with the HD. Here we go. I'm gonna go nice and easy. The drone is definitely a lot heavier. Flies beautiful though. Very nice. It's got a lot more throw now. We figure I put 25 grams on this thing, so. 25 grams on top of 140 you know you added almost 20% weight 20% more weight something like that so yeah it's got a lot more throw now it flies great and here we have it a little two inch cinematic drone a legitimate one not like the junk that we've been seeing coming out So let's see what kind of flight time we got now too with the extra weight. Still controllable. All right, just got a little battery warning, and we had 2:45, so I lost, I lost about 15 seconds flight time, which is not bad. All right, so there you have it, Insta 360 Go, 18 grill, 20 grams, 20.3 grams, mine weighed in at. Maybe they diff, maybe they're all different. I don't know. Um, added about 20% weight to this two-inch micro which is substantial, but uh, has enough power to handle the weight very well. And since the battery is under slung, um, it's a nice distributional weight. It actually flies better with the camera on it. Just, um, you know, the, um, the idle is a little bit higher 
to float. So that's the only difference. But besides that, I think it actually flies better with the extra weight. So stay tuned for more flight videos. Once I figure out how to change the video format so it's recognized by uh, Premiere Pro 16.9 for some reason, the video uh, compression, I couldn't uh, get it to upload into Premiere Pro, but it's probably a very simple fix. So once I get that done, I'll give you guys a nice 16 by nine uh, full size screen video of this camera in action probably tomorrow. Thank you for watching guys, appreciate it. And please subscribe if you haven't.